Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto G62 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. Now when you put it up for the first time out of the box you should be presented with this screen right over here and now most likely yours will be in English instead of Italian. So I'm gonna choose English from the list right here and region whatever United States is good enough. From there we can select start once you've chosen your desired language and you can now insert a SIM card. This step is optional and you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, the reason it shows up here is because inserting a SIM card is one of the ways you can connect to mobile net or to network. The other one would be through Wi-Fi. So if you choose to skip both of these methods uh, then you will not have the Google login page show up throughout the setup process and usually uh, time and date isn't set correctly while with network it's set correctly and well it's based on internet so it just pulls it from that and sets it up also gives us a information here about what i just said so yeah uh, sign into your google account so you won't be able to do those things uh, restore ops and data uh, get software updates and automatically set up date and time i'll just select continue now, keep in mind, you can later on, after the setup has been completed, change all of that in settings. Now, going back to here, we have some privacy and software update. I can enable or disable these, so smart update, meaning automatically downloads and installs security updates and bug fixes over Wi-Fi and only over Wi-Fi. Uh, enhanced device support, get customization support and recommended recommendations for your device and then I share device usage statistics. Now I'm not interested in sharing anything so I'm going to disable that and then we can go to the next page which is date and time. Now if you chose to insert a sim card or connect to wi-fi you will not see this page it will automatically go to the next one which is uh, google services and in here you have three different services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can read exactly what these do and if you don't like them you can just toggle them off as you can see. From there scroll down and select accept which will then allow you to set up a screen lock. Now by default the device opts into a four digit pin but you can tap on screen lock options and choose also from pattern or password in addition. Or if you don't want to just protect your phone at all you can skip it. Again, this can be changed later on in the settings. Now, next thing we have some Motorola garbage. Uh, stay in the know. I just allow notifications from Motorola for some like weird stuff. I'm just gonna select not now. I don't really like cluttering my notifications with a useless garbage, so not now. Uh, wait, there is more. I just provide us with our email so we can spend you spam mail. Uh, not now, or technically not ever. Choose your theme. So you have a choice between light and the dark. So it changes automatically. I will stick with the light one. Next, uh, choose navigation style uh, buttons, which we have only one right now, but normally you have three, as you probably already seen them before. Or you can use gesture navigation, which is what I will stick with. So let's select next. Swipe up to get started, because gestures, and our setup is now finished. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.